This poem is called Eulogy. This little girl stayed with me for about two or three months until I was able to put a tombstone on her, her grave. Epitaphs, granite headstones, and eulogies should not follow toddlers like rumbles before a storm. My mother's frustrated deprivation of stability and security relied upon someone else's proficiency. She was my luminary and I her incumbents. Airtight laminations asphyxiated her humor. Acrimony enveloped her beauty. Selfishness besieged her common sense and calluses encapsulated her heart. My script was written as a public tale to be told, unethical practices of lackadaisical advocates, avoidance of protocol labeled me well loved, being more captivated with office gossip while maligning each other for elevated positions. This, the lopsided scales of justice, airless neighbors, sleeping dogs and crying birds disregarded the wailing and moaning. Whips took to the air wildly like tornadoes and landed like thunder on scourging backs of slaves at the Bay of Control and Hatred. My puerile ebbing heart sat in a hand of thorns. Egregious bloodlines frenetic animation elicited lustful pleasures as she pressed her hands between her voice, between her moist legs. Possessed voices of ventriloquism hypnotized what was left of her consciousness. This discord continued to rip with broken bells and towers and pianos playing out of tune, snap guitar strings, accordions losing their pull, monotone madness that played in my prelude of this induction to this life. <laughs> Things don't sleep beyond the grave. Forgiveness is for the ignorant, I say, not the knowing. Parishioners will take comfort praying for my soul. This village will reap what it sows as hands try to be washed immaculately clean, discounting their negligence, nonplussed by the truth, ignoring all accountability. My last breaths were surrounded by pools of filthy flea-biting beetle swamps, <coughs> half-eaten tuna sandwiches, ketchup rouge cheeks, as my, as pampers, Disintegrating pampers inoculated my nostrils, but I was finally at peace. Canker sore lips became numb. My dehydration was quenched with cool air as the transmogrification of my body became whole again as I rose toward heaven. Epitaphs, granite headstones, and eulogies should not follow toddlers like rumbles before storm. Woo!